All right, everyone. Thanks for joining us. We're hanging out with Dino Pioli. How are you today? Good. How are you, Clifton? Doing great. So let's talk a little bit about contaminations in a system and the importance of clean, filtered, uh, non-aerated water within our circulating right, right. system. Well, first we start with when you, when you fill up a system with, with water, there's already air in the system. Sure, absolutely. And then there's also air that's in the water that you put in. 60 okay. degree water at 60 PSI is roughly 10% air. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. so a, bit. a lot of people think that if they get a really good purge, they get all the yeah, air out. all the water out. But as soon as you reduce the pressure in that system to right. system pressure, that air is released from solution. Okay, okay, absolutely. So that air now impacts the system by having big pockets of air that reduce the thermal capacity of the water. Changes the capacity of our system, sure. Right? That air also is about 20% oxygen. Okay, yeah. So that oxygen now oxidizes the things inside. So you have moisture, oh, right. oxygen, we create oxidation. Right, absolutely. Okay? With that oxidation happening, we get rust and things that happen inside yeah, the system. Our contaminants. Right, so what we try to do is one, the most important thing to take care of is the air. Yeah, get rid of it first. Because that will take care of a lot of oxidation that happens further down the line. Yeah, it makes sense. As we circulate that water, we'll get the air bubbles to come out. The air bubbles will come through the smaller vessel or the bigger vessel, excuse sure. me. Sure. And big bubbles will come out very easily. And collect onto the gridding. Yeah. So the, the internal coalescing media that we use will collect air bubbles. The big bubbles will come out easy. Yep. The smaller bubbles will collect. Those bubbles will then join together, become bigger bubbles, which are easy to get out. And then we remove it. Okay. At the same time, what we're also going to do is any debris that's in the system. Sure, we're gonna collect deposits. As the velocity slows down in the vessel, right, Bernoulli's principle comes into play. Oh yeah. The, the weight of the material starts to drop. Right. Okay, as it drops, it hits the wire, loses forward momentum, drops some more. Because we completely fill the vessel with the internal media, there's no shortcuts around it. Sure. So we create zero turbulence outside that flow path, and then the debris will simply fall to the bottom. Flex in a very small area. Yep, it does not affect the flow of the system as it goes. As I turn this out of bypass, you'll see big bubbles come out really quickly. Oh, wow. Look at that. Right. You'll see the velocity of sure, the water already up. reducing the amount of eventually we'll, in our system. we'll get this trapped bubble up here in the top we'll to pick it up and siphon it through. Well, what happens is the water becomes absorptive because oh, the water yeah. naturally wants to have air in it. Yeah, absolutely. So as we strip the water of air, the water now is starting to reabsorb that back into the it. flow and get it back into the flow right. where we take it back out of the separator. Beautiful. We put the separator in the system where the wall, the air wants to come out naturally. Yeah. Lowest pressure. Yep. Think about a, a, a soda bottle. When you open it up, you see the bubbles come out. Right. Well, that, those bubbles are coming from the liquid, right? So yeah. the, the, the release gases are coming right out of here. So at the lowest pressure and the highest temperature, those bubbles will freely come out, yep. put it back through the system. So we come to the boiler, heat it up, Get the bubbles to come out, pass it out. Separated through. Without the media, though, you don't collect those small oh, bubbles, and those small bubbles will continue, continue to circulate, circulating. reducing capacity of the system. Correct. Yeah. So if I flip this over again, you'll see that debris yeah. come recirculate and then, back through, and then recirculate flex. it, and fall right to the bottom. Wow, it's a lot too. Right. So very over, quickly. So over multiple circulations, we'll get yeah. uh, eighty percent of anything thirty micron and larger in a hundred passes. Wow. Down to five Without meters. using any kind of a media filter. So you're not putting any restriction on your flow. Just just the coalescing media. Wow. Right. So that re that prevents turbulence from happening. So sure. the, the flow path widens a little bit as it goes through. But outside that flow path, you can see right here that it's collecting set of raining to the bottom. Beautiful. Not affecting the flow at all. And a very nice representation of what's actually happening in our circulating system. If we could only have clear systems, that be we, nice? could, we could resolve a lot of problems. Yeah, we could. Yeah. Dino, thank you so much. My pleasure. Appreciate it. Take care. Have a great job.